Here we are with Call of the Night episode 3 and yeah, last episode Ko and Nazuna was, were looking for each other um, but they had trouble finding each other because, well, they have like no way of contacting each other and so they got the idea to change contact numbers for their phones but turns out Nazuna's phone is just like a old big one that is basically a brick and so Ko got the idea to use transmitter because in his childhood he used two transmitter because well that's how they work you need one and another one and he put because he had no friends he put like one transmitter at a random location and then someone could pick it up and then the, he could contact contact that person but he never did it so afterwards when they had the transmitter they played around with those a bit and Ko was thinking about like Nazana that she's like interested in like loot stuff and talks about copulation all the time and that's interesting because those things are more embarrassing for Ko while Ko is like interested more in the relationship aspect and like getting a girlfriend now basically with Nazuna because he needs that to happen otherwise he can't become a vampire which is Nazuna uh, which is embarrassing for Nazuna so it's a interesting combination and afterwards at the end of the episode one of the transmitter suddenly um, had a signal and he thought, hey, that's the one from Nazona, but then he realized it's his old one, which he had with him at that time, because he was talking about it with Nazona, and directly behind him suddenly is a person, which I think, which seems to know him, and I think it's probably a childhood friend because who else could it be right so i guess that's what we find out this episode but yeah if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it and it, and it would really help me but yeah let's get to the episode here we go we pick up where we left off what are you doing akira okay so she's maybe suspicious like what are you doing this early in the morning and then another night. Interesting question. Basically, like, what makes a friend a friend, I guess. I, I wouldn't say so. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. He just has trouble finding friends, I guess. Oh, he gave it to her? Didn't he left it somewhere? Maybe he can't remember correctly what he did. What? Interesting. This is completely different from what he thought. Okay, so it's not. Yeah, so he didn't give it to her. Maybe she just assumed because it's her house. So she considers him a friend. I mean, he didn't really give it to her. <laughs> But it's nice that she considers us that way. Why? You got a friend, basically. If you just accept her as a friend. <laughs> wow. So he's more like really the introverted type, I guess, maybe. Like running around, playing. Nah, that's too much work. Right, is it time to go to school? <laughs> In the middle of the night. Ah, okay. Interesting. I've never would do that. I want to sleep as much as possible. Yeah, okay. Same time tomorrow. In the morning. Which makes perfect 
it's perfect for him because that's when he goes home, I guess. Ah, he... I have a friend! She's like, wow, impressive. Good night. <laughs> and she's happy now too that she talked to him again and maybe can meet up with him again. Because he meets up with Akira. <laughs> one sees it this way, another one sees it a different way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knows. She figured him out. <laughs> Say it's your friend. And here are the drunks again. Exactly on the same bench, the same guys. <laughs> In the same states. Going down. This is so good. I love this anime so much. <laughs> In the night with Nazuna, early in the morning with Akira. Maybe she's also nervous and doesn't know what, what to talk about. He's just wondering. <laughs> he gets curi curious. Oh my god, she's stalking him? Checking out the girl he meets. Panky panky. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that could mean. Oh my god! <laughs> Purely physical! The misunderstandings. Oh, she figures... Ah? Uh, ah, uh, yeah. He wants to like her. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. What happens? Is she is she is she kissing him or biting him? She bites him. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is going on? What are they doing? Yeah, she's like, what the hell? Is she re revealing it that she's a vamp? Wow, she just goes. She just blurts it out. <laughs> they are underage, yeah, right? <laughs> because I want to love her, fall in love with her, to be comet vampire. <laughs> the monster? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, will she join the knights? For the same reason? Oh, she's similar. <laughs> what a photo. Aww. Mm, it gets interesting. <laughs> you? <human? laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think she said she did, but, well, she felt like she missed the chance. I don't think so, maybe. Nazuna-chan! <laughs> Damn, okay, maybe she is angry. <laughs> oh, she flipped him off. <laughs> hmm, I'm wondering, maybe because she f somehow feels like losing him? Because now he has a friend? 
So maybe she is a bit jealous. And awesome music again. Because for Nazuna, he's like good meals, right? <laughs> I guess maybe... I, I It's hard to tell for me if Nazuna gets also interested in him, like rel relationship-wise or not. I guess so. I guess she gets a bit interested in him. And that's why she's maybe jealous, maybe? That's the reason why she's angry now? The best vibes of the anime season this time. <laughs> And it gets morning, so she probably goes to bed now. <laughs> oh, that must hurt like hell, dude. On the chin. Oh yeah, he can he can use his transmitter. He didn't thought about it. Oh, she's close by. Maybe she stayed close by. <laughs> okay. Being open about it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't want to be just physical. Okay, she's not really angry. Just ticked off, okay. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That would mean he has to sleep at night. He fell. <laughs> and she licks it. Oh, oh kiss! <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! Oh, oh. Let's become friends then. <laughs> from for today <laughs> she has to go to bed now it's about time hell yeah bro <laughs> it was blood involved so it's fine <laughs> so yeah this was episode three of call of the night and i have to say um i like this episode we got introduced to his childhood friend which considers him a friend but he's unsure about it he never considered her a friend and yeah, I mean, I'm a bit confused about some aspects of this of this episode. Um, because first of all, Ko said last episode that he never gave the transmitter to anyone. He just put it somewhere and, well, wanted someone to pick it up. And now we have Akira who said, yeah, you gave it to me. And then it turns out, and then you are confused, like, he gave it to her, but he couldn't remember that he said something different and then it turns out like he didn't give it to her and she says yeah you didn't give it to me so she just picked it up and considered it as if he gave it to her so that's got me a bit confused already <laughs> at the beginning of the episode um and then she says like that he got friends in school at some point and then she never contacted him because she felt like she missed a chance to talk to him because he got all of those friends now and they were all, they were always in different classes um so which is also like a bit different from what he said i think did he say that he never had friends i mean he said he has no friends so maybe he got friends or people considered him as friends but he never considered them as friends and so he always thought he would be alone and had no friends um and yeah it seems like he's like a he's like really introverted like his whole life it seems like because even as a kid he didn't play with others it was too much work for him to run around and play so instead he just watched ants and, and stuff like that <laughs> and yeah so that's already interesting i would say and then we get the whole thing that she starts meeting Akira now every morning because in the morning she takes walks and that's basically when he is more 
like at the end of his day when he goes to bed because he stays up at night so he can't sleep at night obviously and for that he leaves early from Nazuna's place <laughs> uh, to meet up with Akira and he's again confused like is this fun when we just sit here and have a bit of small talk here and there because he's confused about it because I guess he's again an introvert so he doesn't know better like relationship with people is like weird for him it's the same for me i mean it's this anime really hits home for me because i'm also like introverted i can't open up to people around me really when i'm new to some place in a school or in a workplace or something i'm very quiet i'm more for myself i have a hard time opening up it takes me a t at some time to get used to everything and open up again and so it's it hits home for me i and i'm also having like no friends i'm i have sometimes when i'm like at school i i'm had some friends i would consider but they never talk to me i talk to them all the time and we never ended up doing anything like going somewhere or whatever so yeah i'm feeling the same i i i don't know can i call these people friends or is it just like people acquaintances like people you know but not real friends because for me i i don't know i don't i have a hard time consider considering those people friends if i talk to them and try to go somewhere do something and then it's always like yeah i have to check if i have time or whatever and they never call me or something except they call me when they want something so i wouldn't really consider those friends and that's like my whole life basically it always the same so I'm, I feel like I'm the same in that regard, that I have a hard time seeing what's friendship, what isn't friendship, what is enjoyable for others to talk about and what isn't. Um, and then, yeah, we had the whole bar scene where they talked a bit and Akira said basically it's the same. She is not enjoying school. She's not enjoying staying home. She, um, she would like Ko to come back to school so that she would have a better time at school because he would be around and she likes Ko. And... Yeah, the next thing that confused me in this episode was basically when um, Azuna got ticked off because... And Azuna got ticked off because she said now at the end that it's basically what ticked off was that he didn't answer the thing when she asked him to come to school, Akira. That that's basically ticked off because he didn't give an answer. I Let me see, what did she say? I'm skipping here through this episode while I'm talking so that I can recall everything better. Let's see. Uh, remember she said, come to uh, come with me to school. Why couldn't you answer right away? So maybe it was because... So my brain thinks that she maybe thought he didn't give an answer because Nazuna was, with, was around. So that he w didn't want to say like, yeah, I'm coming to school with you. Instead of saying like, no, I want to, I don't want to go to school. And maybe it's maybe because sh she gets also interested in Ko, maybe she gets a bit jealous and thought like, oh, he did, he isn't saying it because he plans on going back to school and then he has to sleep at night and then he isn't around anymore. And that ticked her off a bit. Maybe that's my guess. I would think that's what she meant. And yeah, because right now it's basically like for, I guess, some part, she just sees him as like food and all that stuff because he tastes so good. Um, but I guess she has feelings for him, even if she is not admitting to it because relationship and love and everything like that is embarrassing for her um but ko needs it to happen because he wants to be a vampire right and yeah so it's it's still very interesting i love it i, I love it so much i love this anime absolutely and all the characters and the characters of the character <laughs> and we got a kiss that's also awesome i mean we we couldn't really see right it's she could have just like kissed him on the cheek or something to where the blood was but I guess it's the kiss and they just didn't show it, hopefully, because he said at the end, like, yeah, friends don't kiss, which is another thing that she's like, yeah, you have a human friend now, but yeah, here, uh, you said human friend. And then does that mean you have a, uh, you have a vampire friend too? Um, so uh, yeah, because we are not sure yet what is what, right? If they are like, consider each other friends because Ko doesn't know about it, uh, if he, what's what he can consider a friend or what and what not and uh, Nazuna I think is also I think maybe uncertain a bit because maybe she sees him like a lot like just food or something but I mean we know eventually they have feelings for each other and will fall for each other because I guess that's like the big premise of the anime that they 
fall in love slowly but surely and so that he can become a vampire at the end and yeah i'm very interested interested for the next episode because this time we don't have a cliffhanger and so what will happen next episode we don't know it's completely unknown what will happen next episode and i can't wait i <laughs> i love this anime so much every time we i watch it i'm just having good feelings Uh, because it vibes so much it has such good ost uh, visuals i love the character so much i love that it's a romance and yeah i would say that's for it for the episode and if you like what you saw or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or comment i would really appreciate it it would really help me and yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye